Differential equations are used to model countless physical systems, from pricing financial derivatives to determining chemical equilibria or predicting the spread of disease. Ordinary differential equations, or ODEs for short, are a subset of differential equations that only involve derivatives with respect to one independent variable, for example, time. Logistic population growth provides us with an example of a single ODE modeling a system. In its differential equation, the rate that population changes at any given time is determined by the current population and some constants. Here is an example of a solution to a logistic differential equation. While we could solve the ODE by hand, MATLAB saves us the work. Let's dive into how to solve ODEs in MATLAB. In this video, we'll explore the use of both built-in numerical and symbolic ODE solvers. Built-in numerical ODE solvers include ODE45 most popularly, but also ODE23, ODE15i, and many more. For the sake of time, we'll only cover ODE45, but you can find more information on the difference between the functions at the link in the description. The symbolic ODE solver we'll use is dsolve. We'll start by using ODE45 to model population data for Tokyo from 1950 to 2019 then use that model to extrapolate the future population up to 2050. First, let's load our data set. We can quickly see how the population increases by plotting the population over the array of dates. Now onto the differential equation. I've already used the curve fitting toolbox in MATLAB to determine what constants will make our logistic ODE model the empirical data well. We need to assign a starting value for the ODE solver to use as a reference, since our differential equation only tells us the rate of change. We'll also create a time span to input into ODE45. We're only modeling up to 2050, or 100 years past 1950, in order to prevent deterioration of the model. For the differential equation itself, we need to use a function handle that accepts both population and time, even though the ODE itself does not depend on time. Putting it all together, ODE45 first needs the differential equation we just declared. Next, we simply pass in the time span and initial value and output the results into a time array and a population array. Plotting the results, we can see that the differential equation models the population extremely well. Symbolic solving of the same equation is slightly different. Instead of using an anonymous function to define the ODE, we'll be using the symbolic toolbox to assign p to be a symbolic function of t. To assign the differential equation to a variable, we use the diff function set equal to our ODE. Note that we assign with one equal sign, but need to use the double equal sign to indicate equality within the derivative. We similarly establish our initial value by setting the value of our function at time zero equal to the first entry in the population array. Next, the desolve equation takes our symbolic ODE and starting value and outputs a symbolic function. While ODE45 returns an array of solutions at each time step indicated in t-span, dsolve returns the solution function itself. The symbolic function similarly matches the real-world data, as it did before. If we plot the two models on top of each other, we see that the two methods give us incredibly similar results. The difference in predicted 2050 population between them is only 14 people out of over 38 million. When comparing the time it took to run each script, ODE45 was slightly faster. It's not a big gap, but the time difference can become significant with a more complex system. Another example of differential equations at work in the real world is with the transfer of heat. Newton's law of cooling shows that the rate of temperature change is proportional to the temperature difference with the surroundings. While the differential equation for temperature change holds individually, it can also be used to calculate the temperature of a system, as we're about to do. In our example, we'll determine how the temperature in three floors of a house changes over 12 hours. Initializing the script is much the same as it was before with ODE45. However, since we are now dealing with a system of differential equations, we will need to pass in a column array of initial values. Likewise, the ODE declaration function will have to return an n by 1 array containing each ODE's rate of change for any given combination of floor temperatures. Instead of its input variable representing a single number, like population, it will now be an array of each floor's current temperature. To make this more visually apparent, I'll initialize the function at the bottom of the script. The ODE45 function remains the same, though. We still need to use function handles to pass in a function of only t and h, we still use a time span, and we still have an initial set of conditions. The output, however, will now be an array of the three floor's temperatures at every corresponding time in t. We can easily plot it to visualize the results. 
dsolve is modified in almost exactly the same way. Instead of only passing one equation into the function, we now input an n by 1 array containing the entire ODE system. The initial values will also need to be inputted as an array. The output, however, is different. Instead of being the single function as it was before, it is now a symbolic structure. We can obtain the individual solutions by using dot notation, as shown. While we now have functions that can evaluate the temperature of each floor at any desired point in time, the symbolic route of solving this ODE system took significantly longer than the built-in numerical ODE solver did. Let's recap some similarities and differences between the two methods we explored. The most obvious difference between them is that ODE45 and other built-in numerical solvers return solution arrays, whereas the desolve function returns a symbolic solution. ODE45 is also faster to run than desolve, especially when handling a system of differential equations. Depending on the situation, one solver may be more apt than the other, or it might not make a big difference. Either way, the choice is yours. Thank you.